Applications for admission to UNISA's undergraduate and postgraduate studies are now open since the 11th of August. Many will be closed on the 15th of October. This include higher certificate, advanced certificate, diplomas and advanced diplomas also decrease. So if you know someone who would like to apply at the UNISA, please invite them. Let them watch this video. Please share this video together. And I would like to extend my gratitude to everyone who has been supporting this channel. You are really doing a great job. Because with the subscribers and viewers, guys, we are letting YouTube to know that these videos are informative and it must be shared with other students who would like to reinvent themselves and go to school, educate themselves. So maybe you might be asking yourself who is allowed to apply to this new university. Everyone wants to start a new application. This means that first-time applicant and also returning applicant must apply online. They are allowed to apply. Please note that uh, you will need to pay an application fee of 120. Uh, you use your student number as your reference. And yeah. Then when you do the application fee, you put your student number, then you follow with this number, this account number, this is the reference uh, application fee uh, number or something like that, application fee reference. So you use this one, you put the student number, you open a space, then you put this number. So banking details or application method, uh, they can be found from this one. So if you would like to do applications, or if you would like to pay for applications, you need to follow the debit card, credit card, UNISA and uh, banking details or EFT. So this is how you do it and everything. So as I've said, if you are doing a deposit or a EFT, you put your student number at the reference, then you put this number. You put your student number, space, then you put this number. This is the number that you are, you are using. Please make sure that you pay the application fee before the closing date because any uh, application submit, submitted without an application fee paid on time will not be accepted. So you need to make sure that you have paid. Please make sure that you also keep your proof of payment just in case your amount is not reflecting or maybe they claim that you did not pay the application fee. So to apply online, please make sure that you have the following documents. You will need a copy of your school's qualifications. This includes senior certificate or national senior certificate if you are doing metric or grade level. So if you are doing grade level, do not worry. Usually they will ask for your ID number. But if you have completed metric, they will just need your ID number. Also, we did a national senior certificate, but they will write as like school certificate or something like that but make sure that they need your result. Uh, please make sure that you upload your copy of your official tertiary academic records if you are studying or have studied at another university or you have completed a qualification, especially if you are applying for, uh, for postgraduate uh, qualifications. Uh, please make sure that, um, please note that internet copies will not be accepted. So make sure that you have scanned PDFs uh, or pictures that are clear then you upload them you will need to upload a copy of your id copy if you're a south african student uh, if you're an international student you need to upload a copy of your passport copy of your marriage certificate if applicable or divorce decree if applicable so make sure that guys um documents that are allowed as it has been ticked here i'm sure that my documents are scanned please note this are scanned according to the rules so i always advise students that please scan your document especially at the internet cafe to avoid some errors that are being made uh, maybe someone they check the status it will say uh, outstanding document or something like that while you have uploaded your document usually it is caused by uh, scanning your document with your phones especially when they are not clear or something like that so make sure that you have scanned your document only upload the required document as individual files do not um, combine your document and upload it as one file so make sure that you upload as individual file school certificate alone it copy alone uh, academic record alone so you separate it you do not combine your document as it says here the file may not be larger than 2 mp so imagine when you combine your document it will be bigger than the 2 mp so 
Make sure that you separate your document. Only black and white document may be submitted. Uh, they also allow uh, pictures here. You can upload pictures or documents, a word document file or a PDF, uh, a PDF file. These are the types of file that can be uploaded on the system after you have done the application. To avoid being rejected or for your application not be considered, please make sure that you have checked and you are sure that you meet the statutory and college admission requirements uh, for your application choices. You come at this top tab, you click where it says colleges and, uh, and then you, these are the names of the college as you can see. Uh, we have the Accounting Sciences, Agriculture, Economics and Management, Education, College of Graduate, etc. So to check if you qualify, let's say you want something under Engineering Science and Engineering. On your right hand side here, you just scroll without moving up and this. From this, you move straight, you come here and click where it says Qualification. If you can click Qualifications here. It will take you to the category where you have to choose your qualifications. Let's say, for example, you want a degree certificate and something, you can click here to view the documents. Then after that, these are the document under the College of in Science, Engineering and Technology. So now you can see you have under that, you have this higher certificate and uh, diplomas, advanced diplomas, etc. So this will also help you to not waste time when you, when it comes to selecting the colleges, also the qualifications and the course. You feel, you can see now what you want. It falls under which co under which college and under which category. These are categories: higher certificate, diplomas, advanced diplomas, and everything. So to check the requirement, for example, let's say we want a diploma in industrial engineering. You just click on industrial engineering. You see, it needs an APS of 18 uh, points. This is the important part. You can see that it needs it. Um, you need to have completed uh, maybe a national senior certificate with level 4 in maths, in technical maths, not mathematical literacy, uh, English. All of this, you just read this, you check the admission requirements and see that you really do meet the requirements. This brings us to the second point where it says you are sure that you meet the minimum academic point score, which is the APS, the point. If they need 18 points, you make sure that you have 18 points for your qualification of your choice. You make sure that you have a valid email address and a cell phone number, and then you accept that UNISA will communicate with you during the application process using that email address and that cell phone number. Especially after you are done with the application, uh, they will send you a reference number or a student number to your cell phone number and or your email address. So please make sure that you provide only one email address and one cell phone number during the application and which is valid. If you do not know how to create your email address, you can click here to create your email address via Google, via the Gmail or via Google, or you can contact me, I'll also help you. Okay, please remember to save your email address also with your password. It is very important to check your emails regularly for communication from the university. So without wasting any time, just uh, come to the main page. You can just click here to come to the main page. When you are here on the main page, you can just click here which is apply now or you can click where it says admissions and click apply for admissions then you can click undergraduate um, I think that one is a long way or you can come here and click where it says apply then it will take you to this page as you can see the system has been upgraded now if you want to apply for undergraduate you click here whether first time or returning honors or postgraduate you click here if you are first time you click here returning you click here for short learning programs, the applications are still closed. Uh, you cannot apply now. Uh, also for masters, they will open on the 8th of, November, of September until 12th November and some exception will apply. So, yeah. So if you click, uh, whether you click first uh, time or retaining, it will take you to the same page. We can prove that you can click here. When you see, click where it says first time, and even if you click where, uh, where it says retaining, still it will take you to this part, to this trailer here. So what we have to do, just click where it says um, apply for admission. Then after that, you click where it says apply now. 
and then you come here as you can see uh, short learning programs are closed only these ones this one they said 8 september but i see that the link it is opened uh, then let's say we want to apply for undergraduate so you click here for undergraduate then do you already have a student number you will indicate if you have a student number if you have forgotten your student number you can click here to forget your student number or to retrieve your student number but now currently the system it was down if it is down please visit the nearest unisa campus as soon as possible to request for your student number so do you already have a student number you can indicate if yes or no so let's click no now then you enter your surname and your names also your date of birth year month according to the format here year month day so let's end our details and then once we are sure if everything it is correct click continue then we come to the admission calculation to this part we have to click the option that is applicable for you so firstly if you are currently doing metric obviously you will click this one uh, currently in school in grade 12 that is obvious and then if you have completed metric and uh, you were staying at home or you are doing the readmission or something like that you did not do you did not uh, completed any certificate or you did not go to any university i advise you to click this one rewrote and past metric because if you click this one completed only metric you see what we'll do i will just show you uh, what we'll do um before we continue with the application this one usually it can say you might not qualify you might not do something like that you see while you have checked the requirements before there and you know that to qualify so avoid this one uh, if you obviously if you have completed or completing any higher certificate diploma undergraduate degree at a, another institution or unisa obviously you click here so international student you click here if you have completed a national certificate a vocational um obvious you will click here let me show you what i'm talking about you see when you click here then let's say continue uh it will first need your south african id so let's say we put our south african id then let's click continue then we come to this part we have to choose um the qualification let me say i want to choose something maybe uh let me say a degree uh, then immediately when i want to choose the qualification eh, you see this part it says you may not qualify you may not qualify you may not qualify let's say we have checked the requirements there you know that you will qualify for this one so this is what i'm avoiding that you would face guys so the best way is to come back and uh, instead of clicking this one you click this one so on my uh, case, I will say I've completed and completed any higher certificate at this one. So I will click this one. Then after that, you click continue. Then we come to the part where you have to enter your college and uh, category or something like that. Then let's say we want something under engineering. And uh, let's say we want a um, diploma. Let's say we want something uh, in industrial engineering let's say you specify so i'd leave it on the first choice you can add a second choice it is optional you are not forced to do so but it is advisable to do so then if you are satisfied uh, with your choices then you click continue then you come and verify your information uh primary qualification this is your first choice this it and the code year and uh, yeah for the year 2022 if you are fine with that you click continue if you are not fine you click back then you come to this part you have to enter your initials here uh please make sure that when you enter initial you put a space here you enter your first initial then you put a space then you enter the second initial then you tightly you enter your information then you confirm your first name and second names if they are correct uh, and then you jump this one you come and put your id number here then after that you indicate your gender if you have any disability you will indicate then if your information it is correct you just click continue then we come to the part where we have to enter our contact details you start with your country code if you are certificate 
this is an example that has been given with for you you start with the plus two seven then you follow the other number then let's enter our contact details as accordingly then you confirm your contact details you can copy and paste this make sure that uh, the numbers are all here and uh, make sure that there is no mistake because it will give us miss problems yeah then you come and enter your email address make sure that it is correct then after that you need to confirm it uh, you can copy and paste it you enter your home cell phone number starting with the country code it is commercial you need someone that they can conduct at home please uh, put it here you make sure that it is correct you can leave it here then uh, make sure that your information is it is correct then you come and answer this question here do you require um further assistance with career planning if you want to you can indicate guys i don't want this are you currently or retired unisa staff or something like that you indicate if you are are you a dependent of current or retired or deceased or something from unisa click no here are you a prisoner you click no here this guy's examination center it shouldn't stress you really it should not stress you um it's an online examination this is just a center because we know unisa is located at, at pretoria which is in houghton province so this should not stress you if it will change it will change during the registration next year but this is the center because unisa is located in Houghton at Pretoria. So yeah, you just leave it here. It's an online examination or something like that. Do you intend to apply for uh, examination or exemptions or credit for previous studies? Um, if you have uh, studied the same qualification or something like that, um, and you want to be accredited for those modules or something like that, and they weigh the same weight, you just click yes to apply for the accreditation if you don't want to you will click no do you require for ns files obvious you click yes it does not change anything are you currently in the process of completing a qualification you can indicate no if you are not in this case let's say yes then after that you indicate which qualification you will be completing let's say uh, it's an advanced if you are fine with that then you click continue then you come to a point where we have to enter our addresses so to avoid um uh, misunderstandings and everything even though they require postal address i i would advise you that you used your residential address from the start until to the end so that it cannot confuse you so the first line you put your street number and street name so we put it as it follow so it is your street number and street name the following line you put your suburb or your town here you leave this one as empty as it like this then what you have to do to search for the postal code you just you can copy this the name of the town if it is correct then you come here and click search for postal code then here you can search it we using the town or the suburb or the town so i will enter the town the suburb here then you click search here then it will come up here you can click the drop down error and see if there is any other that you can choose then your postal code with your um suburb including your town it will come here so you could search using your town for example for instance here i would use johannesburg then and come and select for this one but it will give me a long list so i would leave it here then you click continue so this postal code should match along with the um suburb that's why you need to copy this and go and search accordingly so is your physical address uh, street the same as your postal address so if it's so you can just click yes um, so that they will copy this information and enter it in the next page so let's click continue and see as you can see we are coming on the physical uh, page here on the physical addresses they have just copied the previous addresses to your physical address because you have said it is the same thing just like that 
there's no confusion you click next then after that you need to select your home language you come and select your home language do you have a twin sibling you'll indicate if you do nationality you choose your nationality you can just type it use it on the on the keyboard here a population group you indicate it occupation if you are working uh, you'll indicate if you're working if you're not working you still indicate you scroll down and see where it says unemployed you click unemployed economic setter um, you click and click where it says not applicable unemployed if you are not working uh, previous economic activity uh, you can click unemployed uh, if you have been not working you click continue then we come to this part um, a school living certificate so it is easy if you are, do, you are currently doing metric you can just click here or if you have failed the metric you can just click here if you have did did a national senior certificate uh, from 2008 until now you click here so you click this one if you are not sure just click other and type here uh, maybe the name of the certificate you did but if if it's from 28 2008 until now until today you click here where it is national national senior certificate and from 2008 then uh, when it comes to this one uh, I, I would advise you that if you are not sure what you have did here if you are not sure whether you did great work with full examination or without exemption just click other then you can enter your metric exam number if you know it it is not commercial your metric uh, metric year you can enter it if you remember it. metric province uh, you need to enter metric province then after that so that you will be able to select the name of your school you can type here and select the name of your school if everything is correct then you click continue then we come to this one um, you need to indicate what um, are you able to work online um, if so you need to indicate uh, which one uh, do you have access to so you have, if you have access to study online through laptop, you will indicate if you do. Access to study through desktop, you will indicate if you do. If you don't, you leave this one uh, empty. Access to data, you will indicate if you do. Uh, if you don't, still you will indicate it. You need to confirm this is a summary of your application. You have one choice here. We check the declaration. You read all of these. After that, if you are satisfied and you have read this, you understand it. You click agree. Then you click submit application. According to the information uh, that we have provided or that we have fed the system with, they require the ID, copy, and the school certificate. Uh, another uh, reason why they need this because with the ID number, they have been able to search or summarize that this student has completed metric and uh, because we have indicated that our metric year was previous 2016 that means you have completed metric that's why they need the school certificate here so now to enter your id copy you click choose file you go to the part where you have saved your documents then you double click here then you click upload so once you have uploaded the document this thing will change from red and to yes or from to y which is green so you can see this your id copy the name of the file which will come here it will show you how you have uploaded it then we come to this one to upload the school certificate we still indicate then you click upload the name of the document it comes here so if you have extra document that you want to upload you just need to come select from this list you just click here and then let's say you want to upload um, uh, let's say uh, what maybe any document that you would like to upload let's say a completed uh, qualification you click it here then you come and choose the file um then you select it then you click upload 
again if you want to upload another qualification you just change here as you can see it will say completed qualification if you can change here maybe and say uh, we want to upload something uh, academic record you can click here academic record and click choose here uh, you can come and choose the academic record then you click upload as you can see it will say here academic record so it will uh, arrange them according to the uh, or ascending order uh, to how they follow each other let's say you have uploaded the wrong document here how do you upload the correct document you cannot delete this one so what you need to do is to just click choose file then you come and upload choose the correct document then you click upload the second document it will come here on the right uh, side or on this uh, space here so this is how you upload your document you cannot delete the wrong document but you can be able to re-upload the correct document again so if you do not have your document as yet you can click log out and return later to upload the document the disadvantage with that uh, when you come back it will say that you have a student number uh, and um, to retrieve the student number online at this time we can see that the system it is currently down it is currently giving us errors we cannot retrieve the student number so going back to to the university it will take time so make sure that before you attempt the application you have all your documents certified certified scanned and uh, with you then if you are satisfied with your information just click submit document and continue click submit document and continue you have now submitted your application for new uh, qualification at unisa so this is how you do it you can confirm your news you are a new applicant then you have your reference number here as your student number uh, you applied for one qualification this was your proposed qualification you didn't choose another one if you have any inquiries uh, you need to communicate with these people applications at unisa so to save this you can screenshot this as you can see the reference number is the same as your student number so you can pay online guys or you can click to pay later if you're a returning student if you have paid the application before you will notice that after you have submitted your application this will not be available for you that means you do not have to pay the application fee if you have paid the application fee again so because you have sent the application you will receive an email confirming with your uh, unisa has re received your application your reference number uh, is this and this and this pay the application fee asap if not paid already to enable your finalization of your application so you will also receive an email you can just go quickly and check your emails uh, that you have received from unisa you can see this then application this one is from unisa you click um yeah as you can see application with your reference number on top there from this email address yeah so to open this document you just need a word document or a notepad or something like that but um let me say you can open it with um uh, which one will work better this this internet explorer usually works better then you click ok then as you can see this is the summary of your information or you can open it with a word document or something like that i don't know you can keep trying so this is a summary of your information you can also see your student number there and uh, you are also advised to pay the application fee and everything they have received it there is an amount of 120 that you need to apply to this banking details this is the reference number that is has been given uh, to you to use you put your student number or your reference number then you put a space then you put this number so just like that ladies and gentlemen you have applied at the university of south africa which is unisa do you have any inquiries is there where you are struggling please do not hesitate to contact me my contact details will be found on the description of this video below Please note that other universities are open. Please consider them University of Johannesburg, TUT, UP, VAT, UWC, etc. Many, they are open. UKZN, DUT, MUT. 
all of these universities they are open if you need assistance if it's there if there is somewhere where you are struggling or you know someone please ask please contact me my contact details are on the description of this video below please note that uh, you start by trying the application process unless you have internet connection uh, issues you start with the application process then you tell me where you are struggling if you are really struggling i'll do the application for you i just don't do it for you so please note that due to a lot of inquiries i might take time to respond to you ladies and gentlemen so good luck with your applications and take care of yourselves